was physical. Well, he watched the hands, Patrick. <laughs> but Patrick had the upper hand early to turn around Jay over the shack. Pat Riley pumped as the Knicks led by nine in the fourth. Back come the Magic. Shaquille around Ewing for the jam. Shaq with 11 points in the fourth. Patrick, though, trying to respond. But O'Neal there with one of his five blocks on the night. Then Shaq backing in. Buries the J. Shaq with 22, and he is pumped up. Knicks led, though, by one. This time, Ewing coming back with a pump fake. Gets the bucket and the foul. Ewing had 21. Knicks led by four. Now, after the Magic cut the lead to two, Dennis Scott, a big night for him, drains the three. He finished with 29. Magic led by one. Knicks would design a special final play. John Starks, the pass inside for Ewing, who shot rejected by Shaquille. Pat Riley wanted the foul. Now, let's look at the replay. Certainly does a lot of contact. No clear call. Should there have been? So Shaq and the Magic run off with a 95-94 win All right, over. Well, thanks, Lynn. <laughs> I thought he was foul, if you wanted my opinion. He didn't ask for it, but I gave you my opinion anyway. All right, Michael Jordan needed to score 30-plus against Milwaukee Friday night to reach the 20,000 career point plateau. More importantly, Chicago needed a win to keep from a three-game losing streak, something the Bulls didn't have since the start of the 90 season. That's when they, of course, won the championship. Jordan had not shot well in the late stages of Chicago's last two games, but he lit it up in this one at the stadium. A little history in line for this guy. Off the lob from Scotty Pippen. Jordan jams it, and the Bulls on top of the opening quarter. Second quarter, Trent Tucker to Scotty Pippen for the slam. Chicago up 10. Then Anthony Avent guarding Jordan, and he takes advantage of that mismatch down the lane. The Bulls up 50-37. Pippen on the other end. He had 13 in the first half. Chicago up 59-41 at halftime, so the only question, would Jordan get to 20,000 career points? He hangs on the pass from Pippen and lays it in. It's 73-53 Bulls, and then Jordan goes baseline, so he's eight points away from that magical mark. Fourth quarter, throws up a three-pointer. 107-77 Chicago, next time down, off the loose ball. Jordan tees it up, and there it is. He hits it, the 18th player in NBA history to reach 20,000 points. He had 15 of 26 field goals in the game as the Bulls win it. And their record now at home, 13 and 4. Pippen and Grant each had 16. And Will Perdue helping out with 13 rebounds in getting his 20,000th point in his 620th game. Only Will Chamberlain has accomplished it faster. Michael is just the fourth player to reach this mark in uh, fewer than 700 games.